Hurry up. Every dread. Cut it out. Take it home with you. OTF DD. Look at that. Got caught. Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. Welcome back to The Rap Trap. I am Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men 2 Movement. And this is, in hindsight, the Out of Bounds version. I had to travel on this one. Um, I'm just catching wind of this situation. Um, the nigga OTF Didi, I guess supposedly uh, Lil Dirt um, brother and shit, um, he just got, I don't even like the word violate, that shit don't sound like some shit I say, but nigga they got embarrassed. Um, and all I could, on my own, I feel like all I could bring you is the same shit. Nigga, the rap trap. Um, once you become successful, or one of your people become successful in the rap game, okay. you become a fucking target, okay. and in Chicago, you become a trophy. So, you already a target. Mm. So you become, you know what I'm saying, uh, Specialized or, or, or you already are talking because of what because of already in. politics. Yeah, you don't even have to be that active. But if you mm. close to somebody that was active or a prominent figure, mm. so somebody if the catch Lil Durk could be a score. You know what I'm saying? No matter if he can kill people or not. You feel me? He he the face of one of them. Yeah. So it's like yeah. that's a big score to knock him off. So his brother ain't that big of a score to to just whack him, but. They go and embarrass him and all with the mm. antics, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, that's how yeah. the politics go. And, and that, so, and like I said, in, in Chicago, it's a whole zero five one OTF um, Mubu Mubu with that. That's that's, that's, uh, Trump, that's, that's, that's no, that's uh, King Louis. That's Louis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grump died. Yeah, Grump died. So it's a lot of shit going on in Chicago and shit like that. And and I actually want to have somebody here that know a little bit of something about that shit. Um, so let me run it down. All right, so obviously you saw the video. Um, first, before we get started, let me start first. Niggas, two hoes set uh, DD up to come to a hotel room. So he thought he was going to get him a threesome on some shit. Um, and he felt like in Chicago, it's all good. Like, I know how to pick hoes. What I can guarantee you is he was under the influence of something. Um, and he obviously wasn't following the three S's. Um, his mind was altered. I don't believe that if he was sober, he would have failed for this shit. Um, the two hoes conv convinced him to come to a hotel room without a weapon that he could get to quickly. Um, and when he got there, it was a whole bunch of niggas in that bitch. Um, what we know without even having to think about it is... We see the camera, what, what he got his hands up and shit like that. We, we see niggas ain't just over that bitch like, yeah, nigga, you better do it, I'm gonna beat your ass up. Niggas had guns. That's obvious. Um, anybody who, cause I'm, I'm I, one of the, the main things that make me wanna do this video is I'm looking at other motherfuckers' video in the situation. And motherfuckers is talking about, and it's, I, I just, the, the internet be, it, it's, it's crazy as fuck to me because niggas just get so motherfucking, they get so hard on this motherfucker like, um, nigga, uh, nigga would've had to splatter my brain everywhere on the wall. <laughs> nigga would've had to splatter me all over the wall. You know what you tell gonna do? Yeah. Tell them to go on Ben's door and look at some yep. of them ones before they get executed, mm -hmm. how they sitting there looking at that camera, but they're at the corner of their eye, they watching that nigga with that chainsaw, mm -hmm. watching that nigga with that machete blade because they know what's finna happen. Mm -hmm. Like when you when you facing death right in your eyes, bro, niggas talk that tough shit. Sure the same nigga get an interrogation room mm -hmm. and tell because he don't want to do no time. Real talk, real talk. I'm talking about nigga gonna have to kill him. Gonna have to put my shit all on the wall. He got kids. Nigga said he got kids. He got a wife. He can't never look at his wife again after this shit. What the fuck are you talking about, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> 
I would have been dead. So you telling me I should have died so that my wife? What the fuck are you talking about? If I die, my wife gonna die in the I street. Can't look at all yeah, yeah, nigga. They let me go. Yeah. The fuck are you talking about? So, so that that's 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 the the one thing I'm hearing niggas talk about. You know what I'm saying? Like you had to kill me for me. That's what God. Are you serious, my nigga? Right. I'm a break man, my nigga. No, that's not how it really goes in real in life. In real life, nah. In real life, when somebody when no they go down, down, no bitches is down. Love. The good news is this. I'm going to continue to do the How to Identify Nothing Ass Bitch series. Of course, you know it's um, an AO Nation exclusive series. So you have to go to patreon.com and become a patron um, in order to watch it. And once you become a patron, you'll be able to see all of the other unreleased episodes that I couldn't put on YouTube. Every Monday we go live on the Big Face Podcast channel at 7.30. A lot of y'all be late than a motherfucker, but we go live every Monday at 7.30. Um, if you're a lieutenant, you'll be given the privilege to call in and state your opinion at any point in time during the broadcast. Um, at 6.45, you'll be given a call-in number on your Patreon account, and we just go from there. For all my when new people, if you want the uh, Are You Serious t-shirt, it's $15. The Big Face Podcast t-shirt is $15. The Men 2 t-shirt is $20. And the Big Face Podcast Scullies are $10. Uh, go to paypal.me forward slash Are You Serious 10. Address, size, color, and what shirt you want. It's time for the bad news. The bad news is... No one watches sponsored videos. So if you're a rapper and you're thinking that I'm going to get an IG sponsorship or I'm going to get a Facebook sponsorship, nobody's watching the shit. So the numbers that they're telling you that you have are bullshit. And you know that bullshit because when you post after you did your sponsorship, your shit plummets. Even when you are running the sponsorship, your fucking YouTube numbers are bullshit. They're bullshit. Stop playing with yourself. Here, on this show, where we do not accept trash music, we do not accept homosexual music, and we don't accept that mumble rap bullshit. The prices for promotion start at $200. They go up to $2,000, depending on how much exposure you want. They start there. So if you don't have $200, there's no reason to come this way. If your music is not up to par, there's no reason to come this way. I explain the packages as soon as you come in the inbox say, Hey, I got my budget together with the packages. I'm not putting out no fucking price sheet so you can pass that shit to your fucking homosexual homeboy and send him my fucking way. Ain't no fucking price sheet because everybody can't get on this show. I want to see your motherfucking profile. I want to check, see what the fuck I'm fucking with. This show has integrity. That's why we rock the way we rock. But you keep paying that $25, $35 to a fucking sponsorship, which no one sees. They scroll right past it. And you'll be a fucking 50-year-old rapper. And that's just what it is. Just shit together, be home. So the, the, the first thing is, don't go nowhere with your fucking pants down. And he was yeah. like that because he was high and chasing pussy. Just like that. So what I want to know is, do we know who the culprits are? No, not at this point. I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody might brag about it. That's usually how they find out about it. Niggas go to claiming that shit because mm -hmm. niggas want that clout. Mm. But in reality, the politics so intertwined and confusing to where, you know what I'm saying, yo... It's like if you got a friend, then your enemies are my enemies. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And once you mix the murder game in with all that, you got forever enemies. You know what mm. I'm saying? So you never know where niggas holding grudges from. But I'm pretty sure if it was a serious beef, they would have splacked his ass. Yeah. So I think it may have been some petty shit. Because if it was some rap shit. Like, yeah. I'm just trying to end your rap career and show yeah. dirt. Like, you know what I'm saying? We can get we to We got control shit. down. Yeah. We're yeah. we on the streets with it. Yeah. That's what I'm feeling. Because if it was that 63rd. 600 beef that OTF, I mean that 051 Young Money, 600, uh, you know, 300 beef, like shit like that. I mean, it's killing shit. They ain't doing no plan on Ain't no camera. plan. Like, yeah. ain't no camera. You gonna see a nigga get booked, top, 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 and it's over with. Ah! 
Mm. That's the end of the video. You mm. know what I'm saying? Nigga dead. I don't know what they was on. I think yeah, they just want. Yeah, this this some rap shit. This this some rap shit right here, and this and this showing that a nigga ain't really about that. But it, does this? That's and that's the whole thing no, too. It does. does this show that a nigga ain't about that? Yeah. When well, this show that my nigga, if, if you in the street, if you out there, my nigga, you own dope. And you trying to fuck hoes. This is a every the reason why a nigga felt comfortable going to this motherfucker like this is because yeah, it's an everyday fucking activity. Yeah, too. I'm high and I'm fucking hoes. These hoes ain't no different except, and I mean that's what I'm telling you. This is where the streets lead. The streets lead to death. The street lead to the fucking prison cell. Cause the shit that you do every day can get you a life sentence. The shit that you every day can get you put in the fucking ground at any fucking moment. But this your everyday, and that's why niggas start slipping. That's why niggas start slipping and not doing crimes the way they should it because I do it every day. Now I'm getting relaxed, not knowing that nigga, this is a fucking homicide. Niggas is doing multiple life sentences. Niggas is getting an electric chair for one. For one. You know what I'm saying? They getting a lethal injection for this shit. So the street is hypnotizing in that it will really make you think that your way of life is normal. Niggas that you hear that shit in song, niggas will say, selling dope like it's legal because this is every day. But don't, but one motherfucker gotta come with an undercover badge on and the whole thing is over with. What's an undercover badge? Undercover badge, under their under they shirt, obviously. They don't know what I'm talking about, nigga. But the thing is, um, with this situation, I really wanna highlight um, the fact that. If niggas would catch on to what I'm trying to speak to niggas about faster, then they won't be in these type of situations. If you in the street, which I, I can't tell you, honestly, I can't tell you no safe way to be in the street. I can't tell you to follow three S's while in the street because that's not what the street is. Like you don't think you don't think that would help a street nigga though the three S's? I think it, I think it would. I think it would, but still, it, it's not gonna protect you because nigga, you in the street. That's what I'm saying. If a I nigga mean, can sell mean, dope to himself, it'll be good. But you can't sell dope to yourself. Yeah, that's you gotta be around people. people. That's the job, the though. You can't never take all the dangers out the job. You know what I'm saying? Only thing you can do is prepare you for the dangers and best prepare you for the dangers. That's no, it. But see, in the street. Like I said, there, in every job, you know what the danger is. Mm -hmm. In the street, you don't know what the danger is. Why you don't? Because the bitch was the danger. We know you bitches know can be danger, but then so you, how, so how, then so you how say, do you get around the hoes then? Huh? How do you get around the bitch? This whole because we gotta be around the hoes. She can be a lick. She can be the lick. Yeah. She. I, I mean, I just want me a dime bag. Yeah. I but if you sober though, if you sober on point, you don't trust nothing. You ain't so trust how do you? So tell me how you serve somebody without with a. Uh, with your gun without out. Trust, no, without trusting them. You, with your gun out. You talking about the okay, police? Okay, the, 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 the police. The police. Oh, no, that's the chance you take. That's what I'm talking about. But you, it used to be old methods. Like, you make them do the crack in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're an officer. You and and, what, and what the officer start doing? They start, Smoking crack. And now they start sending CIs out. Like, actual crackheads. Yeah. So, but so I mean, I, 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 me, I consider CI the police. Yeah. I can see the CI, you know what I'm saying? If you, yeah. if you working you with, working them, you're with them, yeah, you ain't them. And that's why the fuck I feel like a nothing ass bitch is a part of the government. Mm. That's why. You're work like you're going down there saying, I want a warrant on him. No different than how a detective would get his information and say, we need a warrant on uh 2355 Poly Road. That simple. They tell you what they tell the motherfuckers where you at. When you gonna be there, they do their best to fucking do their best rendition of niggas, you? of fucking slave hunters, huh? slave catchers. So that's what I'm saying. The three S's are going to save your life. And so here's the thing. I don't have no love for these niggas because I feel like it's a spit in the fucking face for them to be out there and then listen to me talk about you know, the rap trap, the three S's, the golf course theory, and niggas just wag they nose and I'm like, fuck that nigga talking about, we different. And now, nigga, you had to eat a bitch out on her period. Yeah, oh yeah. Now let's talk about that now. <clears throat> if you listen to the video, you hear the bitch crying. What do you think that was for? You keep hearing somebody crying. Was he crying or was somebody, who, 
Who in that room would be crying? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I mean, he could be crying, but I ain't. It I ain't saying sound like a female. Yeah. And, and you could see his face. Yeah. He, he didn't have a crying and face. Was, and then yeah. whatever that was, was, he would see exactly. him doing that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, so it had to be a female. Mm -hmm. So I, I, one one thing it could be is she was trying to make. Didi feel like, no, I ain't set you up, shit, I'm, I'm getting stuck up too. Yeah, I ain't I, know this was gonna happen. I don't know this was gonna happen. Uh, Why y'all doing this? Why y'all doing it? I don't know what's going on. Yeah. That could be one thing, because I just said this on a post last night. Uh, it was a post last night. It said, um, uh, bully gets beat up by a kid he was bullying. And it's a video of uh, some kid pushing another kid. Like, come on, let's go. And then he push him again, and the other kid get up and beat him up and shit like that. I said, if the title, what if the title said, kid comes and stands up for his sister and still gets beat up? Would you look at it differently? Mm. The caption makes you, it's like porn. You know, some people, they, when you, you all met if it got silver, you all met it rooting for the, for the, the, the kid. kid that, yeah. that, but, but, and that's why I said, I don't question everything. Like, porn. You know what I'm saying? It's a uh, stepdad finally catch catches stepdaughter. You know what I'm saying? In the kitchen and shit like that. But when you're old enough, step -mom, yeah, 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 yeah. My dad's at work. Yeah, I fucking, I fuck my brother um, uh, in the. I'm talking about porn. And that's why I don't want to do no video with you. That's what it, that one, I don't want to do no video with it. Like, yeah, you, I, 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 we talking about porn. I, I fuck my brother. I fuck my sister. Um, mom comes home and goddamn whatever the fuck. But. If you, if, when you get old enough, you know that that's just how they make the video more interesting. Catch but, eye. but if you look at that on a larger scale, like that's really what the news do. Yep. You know, what I'm they tell you what you' about to see before you see it, and they paint it in a certain light. Um, and on this video, on this thing right here, it's like um, we, we're already looking at it like the girl is in on it because. That's what the fuck he said on World Star. Girl said some more. How the fuck do you know that? But obviously you know like because, 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 Yeah, yeah. Because uh, niggas was in the room, so obviously you said. But niggas could have came in. Niggas could have came I in didn't know afterwards. What the room. Yeah, I'm saying. But niggas could have followed niggas. You know what I'm saying? Niggas could have just. How they got in the room? Followed. She kicked the door. In a hotel. She. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, that shit does yeah, yeah, point yeah, to yeah, a yeah, setup. Yeah, it got yeah, to the inside, y'all. Yeah, I mean, no, he ain't by the temple. Like I said, the whole thing is. Drop your location, the, nigga. But the whole thing is. I ain't gonna be that nigga that say, you never know. I ain't gonna say that, but it's still goddamn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They could have came through the but, but niggas had that shit set up pretty well, though. They did have it set up pretty well. But I'm just saying this question everything because I, I'm just always on that shit because just with what I be doing and shit like that, I feel like any day. Shit, motherfucker, come take me in and then say any fucking thing. I don't give a fuck they do say so they got DNA if they say they got video. Nigga, we didn't see motherfuckers um, manufacture and fabricate all of that shit. Right. So you, you either fuck with a person or you don't. Like, I feel like if they said you did a crime, nigga, if it don't sound like something, like, if they say, goddamn, this, 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 like, damn, they got him. But if it say this right here, like, nah. Uh, no, I'm a ride. Yeah, 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 I'm, yeah, I'm a ride on that one. I'm a, uh, we ain't doing that yeah. shit. And that's really another thing about the Me and Too movement, um, and then the Me Too movement. That's what we clash at. The Me Too side will tell you that a guy that you know, you know this. This ain't with Tupac. You know that nigga. Why the fuck do I gotta that's rape a whole fuck? Like, what the yeah. fuck? You know, even though it do it do be famous niggas who can feel offended that a hoe don't want to fuck once they get to the room, cause a hoe can back out. A hoe can back out right. at the last minute. She can, but it's just and like I said, I mean, you know, and that's why I say that's why the three S's are so important because when you follow the three S's, you start to gain a reputation about yourself. You know what I'm saying? A certain like nigga, he ain't pressed for no pussy like that. The fuck, yeah. it, it wouldn't no, it wouldn't be no situation where he would just have to have but, pussy. But then you look at the niggas that and got accused of this shit, and they people that don't seem like they would be pressed for pussy. Nah, I'm saying I'm not, when I say pressed for pussy, I mean like niggas who are celibate, nigga not pressed for pussy. Mm -hmm. But when you when you talk about people who are, are out there sexually active and fucking multiple hoes, it's hard to be like, and it's just it just 
it what it does, it, it brings in doubt on the situation. It brings in doubt like that nigga do be fucking a lot, goddamn. You know, he could have done that one time. Yeah, and, and then nigga do be on some shit too. Like yeah. nigga be on you know, he don't be sober minded. Yeah. So it be a whole bunch of shit. But in this situation, I'm I want y'all to look at the fact that after this bitch, now that we 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 and that's what I like to do in my thing, and I know you like to do it too, is look at all angles of it. She did set them up, but still, I'm going to question it. I'm going to question if she did. And I'm going to give a good argument for why she may not have set it up, whatever like that, just so I can feel all of the reasons of the situation. So now when I say it, I know it's true because I already did the other side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I already did so the other side. you say it out loud and you try to lay out all the doubts of why she exactly. didn't set them up, it's like... She set him up. Yeah, she set him up. She yeah, she up. did it. Cause I, I, I didn't. I just tried to be on your side. Exactly. It didn't work. It didn't work. Yeah. So now that we know that she set him up, we have to ask ourselves. Cause they said it was two girls too. We gotta ask ourselves, why the fuck is she crying then? Shit. Only thing I can think of is cause they was cutting the nigga hair and making him be ass instead of putting his brains on the wall. Just like that. Real. Just like that. Real talk. Out <laughs> and shit. I thought this was going to be an end, pop, pop, gone. And y'all breaking our cameras, talking about some scissors. Mm. Bro, do you know this man know where my brother stay at? He know where my grandmama house at? That's where I met him at over there by where my grandmama house mm -hmm. at. Like, you know what's happening yep. after this. Yep. Y'all ain't killing? Yep. So now he going to go tell them who I am. They going to come press me to find out who y'all is. Yep. Yep, just like that. Like, and so she, like, bitch. And you know they own that. You know, she, like, they so, got niggas that's on that. So, like, Dirk got, like, a nigga just said, I, um, shot the Eldorado Red. A nigga said, uh, shooters moving from 500 to a thousand dollars down in Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, 10 Rat Dirk, no 10 Rats in the street had a whole city get that, like, like a fucking, uh, what was that movie? Well, everybody in the city, well, um, I didn't get to go see Black and Blue because it didn't play down here on some racist shit, but. Um, black and blue. How the uh, police had the whole, they had the police force and had the street niggas looking for Tyrese and the girl or whatever like that because they wanted to get that camera back. And it's crazy how you can play both sides, but money will turn the whole city, get everybody out their fucking seat. The whole city get up like, oh, I, I gotta have it. Yeah. I gotta have it. Is that them? Nigga, a nigga can die and have $800 that have to be dispersed to whoever. And do you know the family will fight and fuss over that $800 at his funeral? It's hard out here right now. So, you making permanent fucking decisions by letting the nigga live or killing a motherfucker. That's a permanent decision. So that the motherfuckers gonna have to live and die. Life. That's right. They're gonna face my death life. If you, if you did it in that situation, that's all you could think is murder. What the? And the only, and no camera, only no idea, the only idea I have about what's going on is her. That's it. She didn't. This bitch ain't have on no goddamn ski mask when she tricked me to come to this goddamn room. I saw her face. That's what made me feel like, oh yeah, it's all. She good. wouldn't play me like she that. Gonna, she she know She know what it is. She know better. She know how we burn. And then another thing is, for now. Yeah, on that shit. But uh, another thing is, in order for him to go in that bitch. And just have no weapon. Who says he didn't? If they got the drop on you, they gonna take that off. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Off the real. Yeah, and yeah. nigga probably nigga probably, probably had a weapon. Superman yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you come yeah. in that nigga put a stick in your <laughs> face? You ain't trying to. I'm, I'm gonna try to grab it. Mm -hmm. so, oh shit. Yeah, hey, John, John Wick is that? Yeah, yeah, John. Yeah, need to try that goddamn. What the fuck, nigga name is? Uh, that Denzel shit. All they got them jacket chair and shit. Yeah, it's not yeah, realistic. Yeah, yeah. If your shit is on your hip and you hold her hand and y'all walking in the goddamn hotel room and nigga just draw that bitch down like it ain't even like that, bro. Y'all can have it all. Y'all can have it all. No, yeah. we won't want that. We want you. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, that's fine. And nigga, nigga start putting plastic down on the ground so you think you dead. Yeah. And, and nigga, niggas not thinking about no games or no play play rap shit. When niggas didn't put, and that's how nigga let you know that it's serious. Nigga hit you with the butt of that hoe. You know what I'm saying? Nigga hit you with the butt of that bitch. But I mean, bro. And let I, you know it for how real. The, how the alley is in Chicago, it's like, bro, at this point, bro, anything, bro, you and Long Joe ain't squeezing that bitch in my face. Whatever you do right here, bro, if you let me walk up out this bitch, all good. Yeah. yeah. All good. Nigga yeah. supposed to be dead right here. Real talk. 
Real talk. Nigga, listen so to, it, listen to the real talk. some of them songs the niggas be dropping. When they in a situation know, man, and how niggas yeah. they got caught in murder. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They get caught at the red light, but you really did caught me hands down. Nigga could have cut me in pieces and, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like, if I made it out here alive, we'll go from here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We'll go from here. Yeah. I'll live to see another one. Yeah. And so, that's, and, and so that, that's that one thing that I want niggas to realize about this whole thing is the internet, the booth, and real life is three different fucking things. Nigga get in the booth and nigga be like, God damn, nigga, I kill a nigga, let a nigga play, man, I'ma kill him with my gun, up and better, have it better. Niggas is not gonna tell you, if he get the drop on me, I'ma give it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but facts, <laughs> Shout out to uh, my nigga, uh, <laughs> fuck my nigga name, um, come here, fucking with the bitch, with the fucking fake nigga, fuck with him. He got a weird name. Uh, Comp, it's Compton, Compton, Compton Bang, Compton Bang or something like that. He know what I'm talking about. I wish I could have his name. I like to have him uh, Compton Bang or some shit, but he got a song like fucking with the shorty with the fatty bun. I'ma hit a I'ma shoot a nigga with my daddy gun. Yeah. Uh, like it's live. I like it. But um no, nah, niggas ain't niggas ain't on that shit, dog. Like in real life, see rap is just like the movies. Like the movies is an exaggeration of real life. Rapping is an exaggeration of real life. Niggas, no matter how gangster the music, that gangster shit rarely fucking happens. Man. Most of the time, niggas out this whole doing drugs fucking hoes. Man. That's a, a normal day. Usually niggas out this whole having fun, dapping hands, it's all love. It's not war most of the time. It's not. But nigga get in the booth and this. All I'm talking about is war, war, war. So when you see something happen like this, oh, that nigga's a bitch. But what would you do differently? I would never go nowhere without my phone on me, man. Every time I walk in a hotel room, I got my gun like this. I know shit. I'm fucking with my pistol in my hand. I'm fucking. And niggas, niggas are rap about that shit. I'm fucking with the strap I don't trust them. Like, nigga, no, you not. No, you not. And the fucked up part about this shit is this is the rap trap. If you go everywhere with security or you Whoa. move the right way, you a bitch. You don't get no points for moving like that, but if you move by yourself, this type of shit happens. <laughs> How can you win? It's a fucking trap. How can you win? It was like going by myself, my nigga. You see me? No security. No security, no nobody with my nigga. Number, number that pole. Number that fucking pole. Here's yeah. my bodyguard. What 17 good? friends, nigga. Yeah. And what good is that motherfucker if you two zanned up to test the motherfucker? You can't even fight. Nigga so zanned up, nigga sweet in the motherfucker. Nigga. Nigga just walk up and take it up off you. It's taking up off for you. So, you know, it's just, but I, I want y'all to focus on that crime. That crime, you wanna see? Huh? I think you moved on six. Your whole thing might have been cut off. But focus on that crime. What that lets you know is, on another, let's look at it another way. What that lets you know is, she regret what she did now. Now she regrets what the fuck happened. It's like, no. No. And this is what I'm telling you. Trusting anybody. That should be a process that takes longer than it takes you to fuck them. Far longer than it takes you to fuck them. Because you know, I tell y'all if you really want to, like, I wouldn't fuck a bitch anything, anything shorter than 90 days. I would take 90 days and I would put her in positions where it would, you know, she would probably want to be aroused. You know that, you know, I wouldn't just kill on some shit like Netflix and chill and all that shit like that. But we have to be able to chill with each other without fucking for me to know that, all right, because if not, then it's nothing but sexual tension. And you're going to have that with every um, opposite sex that you be around. That's what the fuck you were put here for. But if you can't. If I can't be around you with us just chilling, it's like that lets me know that once I'm tired of fucking you, it ain't gonna be nothing. I can't it, be around it's you. over. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't t like before like before I fuck you, I need to know we got like we can really communicate. Communicate, communicate. And that also makes me feel good because what if something happened? Right. And I always think about that shit. Like what if goddamn nigga getting a, a car wreck? 
and you paralyzed from the waist down, like that'd be a, fuck no more. Yeah, that'd be a horrible thing to come into, like, and you know she love to fuck three times a day. Ooh, and y'all together, you married. And now you got this goddamn injury, and now, now you know this, and I'm telling you now, if you want to know what start fucking up a relationship, nine times out of ten, it's fucking sex. It's sex. I, and I and don't try to, it's sex. You're not fucking it like you used to, period, point blank. So in her mind, subconsciously, she feel like you fucking somebody else, but but because she don't look good no more to you, and that can also go into her wearing weave, her wearing makeup. Now she feel, and that, so that's a whole other thing though. But pay attention to the crying. Just because you don't don't overthink, especially for a nothing ass bitch. That's the reason why I gave you the signs to know a nothing ass bitch, so you know who and how to deal with people. Who to deal with and how to deal with them. If you overthink for someone, for a nothing ass bitch, you gonna get fucked over every time because you might say, oh no, I know she ain't gonna set me up because goddamn, she didn't already show me her 